today I have three elegant fall decorating ideas, plus a few ideas on how to create typography for your home decor. Let's give this Dollar Tree pumpkin sign a makeover. This is the second one of these signs that I've done a makeover on. I used the first one I bought in my last neutral fall decor video, and I loved how that sign came out. I wasn't in the mood to spray paint today. I didn't feel like masking off the garage floor. It's a whole ordeal to put on my gloves, put on my face mask, open the garage door to make sure there are as few fumes as possible. So I just wanted to keep it simple today and I am hand painting this sign. I removed the stem. Those metal stems and leaves pull out really easily on these signs. I also removed the hanging rope so it will stay out of the way, but I'll be adding one at the end. I think a very light cream color will look so pretty. The back of the sign is nice and smooth, so a few coats should work nicely on this side. This video is part of Heidi Sonboul's Fall DIY Challenge. If you want to see more fall DIYs, check out the playlist which I will link below. And also make sure to subscribe to Heidi's channel if you haven't already because she does some amazing crafts over there. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Artsy Cupcake. My name is Maria and I share crafts and home DIYs. My passion is creativity, and I believe everyone is an artist in their own way. Being creative can heal your soul, and it's a self-expressive form of well-being. Please join our community by hitting that subscribe button, and also the little notification bell. That way you'll know when new ideas for getting creative in your home go up. I'm using some Dollar Tree twine to wrap the stem. A few dollops of hot glue and a few spots will ensure that this twine isn't going anywhere. Okay, let me show you how to DIY your own wired ribbon. I start by adding a line of hot glue to this thick picture frame wire. Then I lay the ribbon on top. I add another piece of ribbon to sandwich the wire in the middle. And we're done! I twirled this around my finger to create a little decor for around the stem. For the letters, we'll be using this gold poster board, which you can find at Dollar Tree. I printed out the word fall for our sign, and I printed this backwards. I used a bit of Super 77 to glue this to the back side of that poster board, and then we trimmed it out. Blocky fonts with straight lines are really easy to trim out with an X-Acto knife. I think these turned out looking really nice. I added some height to these letters by using foam stickers on the back. I added some twine through those two holes in the top so we will be able to hang this sign on the wall. Then I played around with some Sola wood flowers to decorate the bottom of the sign. I think the muted seafoam green looks so beautiful with the gold and neutrals on this sign.
Does your Dollar Tree have this new $5 section? They had all kinds of larger items and I found a set of three canvases here. Usually Dollar Tree canvases are not much bigger than five or six inches, but the largest one in this set was about a 16 inch square. I just want the frame of this canvas for our basket weave sign, but I'm saving the actual canvas for our next project. It doesn't matter if the staples stay on here because we will be covering all this up with Dollar Tree twine. Once I removed all of the canvas, I was surprised to see that one side of the frame actually looks nice <laughs> and it looks like a nicely molded frame. Usually the smaller ones are just flat pieces of wood. So this is good to know for future projects because I may just use this as a frame some other time. We're going to wrap the twine around the entire frame. You'll need some hot glue to help the corners stay in place. I'm using about four or five strands at a time so that the wrapping will go a little faster. When I get to the end of a piece, I hot glue it to the back and then trim off the ends. To start a new piece, hot glue the beginning near the end of the last strands and overlap a bit so you don't see a seam. It took a little over one ball of Dollar Tree twine to complete this 16 inch frame. I don't like all the fuzzy bits, so I'm trimming the frame up so it looks nice and clean. For the basket weave backing, we will start by trimming strips from paper bags. Then I'm scoring folding and gluing the pieces. This will make them a little thicker and more sturdy and will also make the edges look finished. Once you have all your one inch pieces, we're ready for the fun part, weaving those paper strips together. Before gluing, make sure you like the placement of the strips. Once you've glued those in place, start weaving the other direction. Let's add the word fall to our basket weave sign. This Dollar Tree placemat has a nice texture on the back and it's a pretty color that will look good against our brown paper. We'll use the same technique as before and trim out these blocky letters out of the placemat. Just glue those right onto the paper bag strips. Now for some decoration at the bottom of this sign. I think a hint of pink and this maroon gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree will look so pretty on our sign. 
I found the wheat stems at Dollar Tree and they are perfect for that empty spot in the middle. I'm adding a piece of Dollar Tree ribbon to the top so we can hang this fall sign. Let's see what we can make with this piece of Dollar Tree foam core. I have some wallpaper samples. This one reminds me of fall. It has acorns, bunnies, and birds. This one is also pretty with the silver accents, but I think I'll go with the bunny one for this project. I'm going to use some Super 77 to glue this down. Oh, and I have this little rubber eraser. I've seen these at Dollar Tree, but I've had this one forever, like 20 years maybe. I use it to get glue off my fingers or if something tacky is on paper, you can gently unstick it with this glue eraser. I just love this thing. Next, we're going to use that leftover canvas to make a pocket. I'm unwinding this nautical rope because just one piece of this will be the perfect height to trim up the edge of this foam core. I added a piece of ribbon to the top of the pocket and then I decorated it with more Sola wood flowers to make it look like they are coming out of that pocket. I used some three-dimensional stickers to spell out Hello Autumn. Don't forget to subscribe for more home decor ideas every week and check out that playlist for more fall inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a creative day. Bye.